Let's try a few evaluation questions from Chapter 3, Numerically Summarizing Data. For the data set 1, 2, 6, the value 2 is the mean, median, mode, or maximum. We can see that 6 is the maximum value. There is not a mode, none of the values repeat. The mean we would add and get a 9 divided by 3 is 3. The median is the value in the center of an ordered set of data. Therefore, 2 is the median of the data set. For the data set chocolate, chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, 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 the value strawberry is the mean, median, mode, or minimum. Because we're dealing with a qualitative data value, this is the mode of the set of data. You can see that the value strawberry repeats itself three times in the given data set. The distribution of the data in the histogram is skewed left, bell-shaped, skewed right, or has outliers. It is not a perfect example, but the distribution is a bell-shaped example or a bell-shaped curve. We do not have any extreme values to the left or to the right, therefore um, bell shape would be our best distribution for this histogram. If the variance of a variable is equal to 9, the standard deviation of that variable is. Recall the variance is the square of the standard deviation. Therefore, in order to find the standard deviation, we must take the square root of the variance. The square root of 9 is 3. If this is a sample, we would say that the s squared is 9, therefore s is 3. If a normal shape variable has a mean 8 and variance 4, then approximately 68% of the values will be between. Recall the empirical rule states that if you have a bell shaped distribution, 68% of the values are within one standard deviation of the mean. If we take the mean minus one standard deviation, we get 8 minus 4 is 4. The mean plus one standard deviation is 8 plus 4, which is 12. So 4 and 12. If a value A has a z-score of 0.5 and a B has a z-score of negative 1.2, then is A is the further from the mean than B, A and B are equally far from the mean, A is closer to the mean than B, or the distance of A and B from the mean cannot be compared without additional information. Our best choice here is C. A is closer to the mean than B because it has a value that is closer on the right hand side. The 50th percentile of a set of data is also referred to as the median. Recall the median is the value that divides the lower 50% of the values from the upper 50% of the values. Another name for the median is the 50th percentile or quartile 2. Therefore, our data set here, the 50th percentile, the best name is the median. In the box plot, the data is likely to be either standard, skewed left, skewed right, or normal. You can see from the whisker on the box plot to the right extends much further than the whisker to the left. Therefore, this box plot is skewed right. We have some values to the right, but the majority are falling to the left of the distribution. Skewed right is our data set. For the two variables x and y, is x more spread out than y, x and y have similar spreads, x and y have different centers, or x and y have similar centers. You can look at them and see that they have different centers based on the horizontal scale. The center of one is less than five, the center of the other is between five and ten. Therefore, x and y have different centers.